third experience at evaluating. Ah. He's looking forward to evaluating one of our club's more experienced <coughs> speakers, Gary Ratha. It's always a chance for a good learning experience and having fun at the same time. That's one of the best things he loves about Toastmasters, having fun and learning. What more could you ask for? I can ask for Jim to step up here. Gary, I can feel your pain, should I say? Is not, well, not really pain. Joy, probably, is not working in retail ever. <laughs> not be a good retail person myself. I know. For your sell it speech, ask how well did you explain the persuasive process used in the retail sales of an inexpensive item? And I thought you did that exceptionally well. You really went into depth on that. And you, you explained to the audience how you needed to focus on the buyer, had to have good listening skills, you had to fit a product or find a product that fit their needs, not what your needs were for the sales goal of the month or whatever, and be honest with them. And I thought you did a, a very good job of setting that up and letting everyone know what the objective was. Were you able to build rapport with the buyer? For a sale like that, I mean, how much, like you said, how much rapport could you build? It's not like you're selling a car or a condo. <clears throat> so, you know, you, you had a very amiable manner. You were intrepid about it. Ah, yeah. How effective were the questions uh, that you asked? And how, thank you. How did the speaker use the follow-up questions to elicit more information? I thought you did a very good job on that. You drilled down to find information from your buyer, Jeremy, as to what he needed and progressed through the sales process nicely. I would have never known you were not in retail. Get to know me. What did the speaker do to show attentiveness to and concern for the buyer? You questioned him, you found out what his needs were, you found out that he hates Apple, and probably is happy that Steve Jobs is no longer with us. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that was an uncalled for. How knowledgeable were you, did you appear to be about the product that uh, you were selling? Reasonably well. Is that yours? Yes. Ah, well, that explains it then. So like, you had the latest sold immediately. Yes. <laughs> Was the speaker friendly, courteous, and polite? I had to say yes. Though I don't know you that well, personally. How effective were the speaker's efforts to obtain commitment from the buyer? Well, you got a sale, so I'd say very good. What could you have done to be more effective? Uh, the only thing I would say was possibly show a, how the thing works, do a little test. I don't know if you had time, but that's uh, what I would tell you. And what did, uh, what did the speaker do especially well in the sales process? I thought you gave a wide range of options and you listened to the to his needs and fit his needs to the product, and then he seemed like a happy buyer when he was done. So I thought overall you did a good job. Thank you very much. Thanks.